the game. Or uh, getting your fiends trapped or things like that. Um, you're you're going to get screwed. Um, whereas if you don't do that, your chances of winning are actually like pretty decent. Like I would compare, you know, orc... Like, I don't know. I, I, I feel almost like the orc doesn't get punished quite as badly for like little errors like that um, as, as the undead do. But that, that's really just kind of my subjective opinion. I wouldn't take too, too much stock in it. Uh, the reason I went ahead and hit creep there is because I absolutely needed to get my death knight up to level 3. Um, and, 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 you know, that, that's the sort of thing you need to do. I, I had, My attempts at finding and canceling an expansion uh, had failed miserably. Um, I also didn't have a town portal at that point, uh, so it made sense to creep something near my base. I let one of my ghouls die here stupidly. Uh, that is one of the less huge mistakes that I made here, but it's still pretty stupid. <laughs> um, but anyway, my, my, my basic idea there, I, I left my acolytes repairing too long. Yeah, I'm making all kinds of mistakes, judging from the fact that I'm just distracted while I was trying to record an audio, even though that ended up being worthless. So my idea there was to go ahead and creep something quick, um, get my Death Knight to level 3, um, and then come back now that I've hit tier 3, get an orb on my Lich, you know, start Destro research, that sort of thing. Um, at this point, I actually have, like, a... a fairly decent army and I'm ready to fight I imagine like he's got to have tried expanding again so I'm going to basically just do my style and guess um, I, I've been I've been too short on things to even really be able to afford sending many skeletons across the map to try and see what he's doing um, so one of the ways that I try to just make up for that is to um, just guess where he's likely to expand I know you know like he he can't really he may have creep like one more expansion slot but if you look at the if you look at his field of view um actually he hasn't this is like the only one that's even been creeped it would have been nice if i could have town portaled out of here but once again due to the mistakes that i made um in the game i i basically am forced to try and run here i know that i like really screwed at this point but i'm gonna try and fight this battle anyway one of the things that would have helped me is if i'd actually remembered uh to skill frost armor here. I, I, I really goofed by not doing that, um, and I kind of get screwed for it, um, along with the fact that I just, you know, should have had a town portal here. Uh, one thing about mercs, uh, they are universe, almost universally uh, less hardy than the normal orc units, um, so it, it, it's a pretty good idea to go ahead and focus them down. One of the things that I didn't quite realize was going on here is that uh, Ryder has hired like a bunch of mercenaries here, so he's got like a Shadow Priest and Berserkers and things like that, um, all of which are able to fo focus down my Destros, which died incredibly fast. I, I did not expect that at all. Um, but even if you look at the supply limits, it was basically a lost battle. Just having like, really just having the early game go badly for you like that, your only hope um, is to sneak an expansion cancel or get like a really good dig or like you know kill a couple of borrows or something like that um, to make it up it like I said this it's a very unforgiving matchup so it it very strongly pays to pay attention to detail when you're playing undead versus orc so um, what one of the things that you can look for uh, in a game if, if you just feel like you're always always getting overwhelmed by the orc army is just look at your early game and try and find like inefficiencies or like did you drop any units did you build any uh, buildings too late things like that um, so you know that's really a lot of the stuff that lost me the game I, I didn't have much chance um, you know unless I got lucky once once I was late trying to go uh, cancel his, his bestiaries and things like that so uh let's go ahead and get the second game going uh the second game is a little bit less depressing for me but um it, it is still rife with errors um let's see get, yeah, get, it, get it paused at the two minute mark just like the previous one i'm gonna kind of speed up to it uh and i hope you will do the same because i'm not planning to talk about it for two minutes before i get going um, it, by the way, in the previous game, you know how I mentioned the, uh, like I used the, the Ted style build, um, really the, the, the main advantage of that is that you just have, you basically are trading a much stronger DK harass for, uh, somewhat, or actually you're trading the fact that you can DK harass at all for, for somewhat slower creeping. Actually, no, I take that back. You can DK harass, um, even with like a Philbot style 
fiend build, which is where you go crypt, uh, crypt and, uh, graveyard, like as your first two buildings, um, this instead gets your death knight out first. Either one, uh, either one really works fine. It's, it's really just a matter of preference there. Um, okay. And this one on Terranistan, uh, hopefully you've got this pause at the two minute mark cause I'm about to get it started going, but I go for a ghoul build instead. Um, because in my opinion, I, I feel like the creeps on this map, uh, especially like those early two that, that are like right above your base or, or below it in, in Ryder's case, um, it's like a fast level two and ghouls are really good at creeping it. Okay, well, hopefully you've got this paused at the two-minute mark, so let's get her started in three, two, one, unpause. All right, like I said, ghoul build because uh, I like the way the ghouls creep, the early level two stuff, um, and I also like being able to send my death knight out. Uh, well, I guess you could do that with the ted build too, but it's a little harder to multitask creep with that. Um, but I'm going to send my death knight out and I'm going to try to stop him from getting his level two too quickly. Um, the story on those, those creeps is that, uh, you, you want to take out the renegade wizard first. Uh, he, he's relatively low on hit points. He's not like one of the, one of the level five gnolls on twisted meadows or something like that. So ghouls can kill him fairly fast. Plus he can cast lightning shield, which is problematic and you want to take him out quickly, but you know, he drops items and gives you experience. So it's all great stuff. Uh, I, I find him trying to creep here uh, and immediately see a low health wolf, so I coil it. Um, really no reason not to do that. You get good experience from wolves. Uh, I'm going to try and use my skeletons to chip down another wolf uh, here. I actually jumped the gun on the coil a little bit. You really shouldn't uh, try to coil a wolf unless you really have a guaranteed kill on it. I do still manage to sneak the last hit on it with the skeleton here, but um, you know, it's a fairly minor thing, but but uh, but coils are really not something that you want to be wasting, um, just because they have the potential to be uh, be so powerful. Now I'm kind of screwing up here and taking uh, too much damage on my Death Knight like that. If uh, hopefully you guys are watching like what my Death Knight's doing right now, but I basically just sat there and let him get like a free like two rounds of hits off. Uh, once again, that's because uh, I was recording an audio and and just got distracted. Um, meanwhile, uh, take a look over at my ghouls, because all, all my death knight does is dance around a little bit more and then leave them alone. Uh, the ghouls are going to creep the three, like, level one guys, which are just, you know, so damn easy. I don't need to tip you off from that. And watch what the ghouls do here. Uh, you want to have them run past the, the, the renegade wizard. Don't just, like, attack him. You actually want to run past him. Like, or, or sort of halfway past him. What this does is it actually gets those rogues, like, focused on, uh, like, uh, basically everything in his cre in the creep camp is attacking a different ghoul. I also keep an eye out for lightning shield whenever I'm fighting this guy, because uh, sometimes they do actually pop lightning shield on one of the ghouls, like, right away. Um, I probably should have gotten cannibalized. I, I forgot. Um, that way, basically, now that I want to go harass him, because, um, you know how I mentioned you want to harass like four to five dots into the first night uh, is, is when you want to harass the orc player. I forgot my gauntlets of vertical strength. I don't know why. Um, well, yes, I do know why. Um, so, uh, anyway, it's time to go for a harass. The idea is to cancel his bestiaries, kill burrows, just in general make his life miserable. Because otherwise what he's going to be doing right now is trying to get level three on his far seer. Uh, if he does that, it's going to make it a lot easier for him to bother me and just like keep me occupied. Plus he'll be, he'll be stronger at creeping his Torrin chieftain up. Um, just all kinds of badness happens to an undead player when uh, when you leave the orc alone. Just because tier two is, is such a party time for orc and such a shitty time for undead. Um, you really just gotta do everything you can to try and delay his tier two while getting tier three yourself as fast as possible. Okay, I actually, like, I don't see, I think he didn't try to start his burrow yet. Um, I don't know if he made a mistake in doing that or what, but um, so, I end up uh, I end up going for his burrows. Uh, it's kind of the same thing you want to do against the Renegade Wizard. You want to run your ghouls a little bit like past a burrow and then attack it. Don't just hit attack because then like one ghoul will start hitting it and then the rest of them will get all like clumped up trying to get around that ghoul to find a spot where they can hit it. So you, you basically give up a little bit of the initial damage to get like as many ghouls hitting it as possible. Um, now right here, um, I I really should have town portaled. Because 